Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, Forza Horizon 5's latest Let's Go live stream has just wrapped up, and I have to say, this upcoming update was pretty much almost everything I had anticipated. I had a feeling that racing cars would be the theme for this update, and it was. Playground Games teasing the new drag car certainly made me question myself that perhaps somehow Series 33 could be all about the complete overhaul of a new drag racing system that they had leaked back in 2023. However, that was not the case. Still a very decent amount of content this coming month with some nice surprises. And here is everything you need to know about Series 33 Apex All-Stars. Starting off with number one, Corvette E-Ray no longer an exclusive. So currently in Forza Horizon 5, the only way to obtain the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray is to actually play Forza Motorsport. And once Horizon 5 has detected that your account has played Forza Motorsport, then you'll be gifted the car. Now I believe the reason why Microsoft, Turn 10 and Playground Games decided to make the E-Ray a loyalty reward car in Horizon 5 was to entice more Horizon players to try or even purchase the upcoming Forza Motorsport. Now, apart from the cool customizations that the E-Ray possesses, thankfully the car itself isn't exactly game-breaking and for those who still play Forza Horizon 5 on the older Xbox One generation weren't really missing out other than completing their car collection. However, for Series 33, this will all change as the E-Ray will be making its way into the auto show permanently for 181,000 credits. This also means that the E-Ray will now be opened up into the auction house and for those who have been waiting for this car but don't want to spend the additional credits, well, in the final week of Series 33, you can complete this seasonal championship titled as Going the Distance and the E-Ray will be the reward. I'm very glad to see that now everyone in Horizon 5 can own this car. Number two, Evolving World and New Outfit. So for the new Evolving World in week three, you can smash these podium tanks, which can be found around the Horizon Apex Outposts. I gotta be honest, for Playground Games to kind of suggest that adding some smashable tanks on a map is considered as an evolving world is a little disingenuous. Evolving world should really be used as a phrase when something quite big on the main map has either been added or changed, not a couple of decorations. I don't know, maybe that's just me. And also, do you want to dress up like a traffic cone? Well, you can now in week two, once you have photographed any Porsche Carrera in this challenge here, and you will then be gifted with this. Oh dear. <laughs> Number three, new cars from the festival playlist. Right now, this month is a little bit more interesting. We obviously know that for Series 33, Apex All-Stars, it's all about racing. However, for the very first time in 2024, other than the Community's Choice Series update at the start of this year, which was obviously a filler update to allow for Playground Games to take a break, since Series 30, we will be seeing a couple of recycled cars available to unlock through the festival playlist. Could this be a sign of Playground Games slowing down, perhaps preparing for a possible tease for Forza Horizon 6 soon? I guess only time will tell. But anyways, for Apex All-Stars, five new cars will be introduced through the playlist, first beginning with the 2013 Chevrolet Summit Racing Pro Stop Camaro. A new to Forza car many of us thought would make Series 33 all about drag racing, but even though it's not I'm super stoked to see this car introduced. It's perhaps one of the more unique cars in Horizon 5, and I'll be curious to see just how much horsepower Playground Games is willing to give when fully upgraded. To unlock this, all you must do is earn 80 points throughout the entire Series 33 update. Next up, we have our first recycled car after 12 weeks, and that is the 2016 Ford GT GTLM Le Mans. 
Now, this car has been seen in the Forza Motorsport series from Motorsport 6 through to the latest installment, and it also made a one-off appearance back in Forza Horizon 3, being a part of the Motorsports All-Stars car pack. To unlock this, all you must do is earn 20 points during the summer season. For week 2, we actually have a new to Forza racing car, the 2021 Hyundai Brian Herta Autosport Elantra N. I'm actually very surprised to see this touring car debut in Horizon 5 before Forza Motorsport, but hey, I'm not complaining. Ever since the Hyundai i30N was introduced in Series 31, some of you have been requesting for the Elantra N to also be featured in Horizon 5. Now, although this version isn't the road-going production model, it's close enough for now. And to unlock this, all you must do is earn 20 points during the autumn season. Then we perhaps have the biggest and best surprise for Series 33, and that is the 2005 Mitsubishi Sierra Enterprise Lancer Evolution Time Attack. I absolutely love Time Attack cars, they look incredibly aggressive, and this Evo is no different. The car reminds me of the HKS Time Attack Evo from Forza Motorsport 2 through to Motorsport 4, but I think this one looks even better. Perhaps more Time Attack cars in the future Playground games? Anyways, to unlock this, all you must do is earn 20 points during the winter season. And lastly, for week 4, we have not necessarily a new to Forza car. It's a vehicle we've seen back in Motorsport 7, as well as the current Forza Motorsport game, and that is the 2017 Porsche GT Team 911 RSR. It is a car that's new to Horizon though, and to unlock this, all you must do is earn 20 points during the spring season. Overall, a very respectable group of cars, three incredibly exciting new to Forza vehicles, one new to Horizon, and one returning. All racing cars in their own right, which leads me to number four, the new car pack. So for Series 33, we are getting another DLC, but this time it's filled with racing cars called the All-Stars Racing Car Pack. This is very reminiscent of what Playground Games did back in 2016 with their Motorsport All-Stars Car Pack, where a bunch of racing cars from their latest Forza Motorsport title was introduced into Forza Horizon 3. Except this time, most of the exclusive cars are from the newest Forza Motorsport. And I say most because out of the seven cars included, there is one that has been previously featured back in Motorsport 7, and that is the BMW M Sport M8 GTE. And the rest, which includes the 2015 Cadillac Racing ATS V.R, the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Racing C8.R, the 2018 Mercedes AMG GT3, the 2020 Lexus RCF GT3, the 2019 Ferrari Competition 488 GTE, and the 2018 Porsche 911 GT3R are all only seen in the newest Forza Motorsport, except arguably the 2018 Porsche 911 GT3R, where the version coming to Horizon 5 is completely unmarked. Priced at 10 US dollars, I can definitely see some players not purchasing this car pack. One, as I've said in one of my previous videos, certain Horizon 5 players just aren't fans of motorsports at all, so this car pack won't be necessary, which I can completely understand. Also, with technically no new to Forza cars featured, it's a bit harder to sell to some players too. But with Playground Games actually featuring the new to Forza cars like the Hyundai Elantra N, the Summit Pro Stock Camaro, the Time Attack Evo as the free content through the festival playlist, and didn't decide to stick one of those cars in the DLC to get more sales, then I have no problem with the All-Stars Racing Car Pack. To me, this is a throwback remix of Forza Horizon 3's Motorsport All-Stars DLC, and thanks to your continuous support over on my channel, I will be doing more giveaways for this upcoming car pack, so make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 5. New Event Lab Props 
Happy to see that Playground Games is ever expanding the library for Event Lab creators. The amount of props available is certainly becoming very impressive that I believe at some point, perhaps when the next Horizon game releases with maybe Event Lab 3.0, you can make your own expansions with your own routes and festival sites. All of these incremental improvements could very well be the building blocks for that someday, but for Series 33, 22 new props will be introduced, 8 asphalt road props featuring snap functionality, with each piece including a non-road marked version, 15 elevation props also featuring snap functionality, with again each piece including a non-road variant, and 1 gameplay prop which will be the podium tank smashable. And lastly, number 6, Update 34 Horizon Retrowave. So we got our first look at Series 34, the last update before this year's Xbox Showcase which is happening in early June. Whether a tease for the next Horizon game will happen or not, what we do know is that a new radio station is being introduced, new highway decorations which I assume will look something a little like this, and I'm also expecting to see some old school retro cars for Series 34 too. But who knows at this moment, I haven't had time to really think about what Horizon Retro Wave might be, but if you have any ideas, feel free to share them down in the comment section below. And also, what do you think about Series 33 Apex All-Stars? Do you like the cars being introduced or not? Share your opinions down below as I do read all of your comments guys and if you did find today's video helpful please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out and if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Forza related be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.